Hey guys, welcome to today's FindTheBestCarPrice.com video. We're going to take a look at a used model today. It's the 2019 BMW X7 xDrive 50i. The original price on this model was $92,600. On the used car lot where I borrowed it from today, they are asking $82,949. Let's get started with our tour. The exterior color is black with black interior and because people always want to know, yes, there are turn signal indicators built into the side view mirrors and just the classic BMW look here. Just look at the headlights real quick. Just give you a quick look at everything here. And the good thing about this BMW that I really like here is that everything here is active. There's no faux vents that don't actually serve a purpose. In fact, one of the ways that BMW achieves the gas mileage that we'll talk about in just a little bit here. Let's see if I can give you a look here. You can see the active air curtain right here, allowing air to pass through and actually improve gas mileage. And of course, those are 21 inch wheels all the way around. And just a quick look at the overall exterior of this model. You look at the rear tail lights. Of course, you're going to have the exhaust right here. Kind of have a bit of an exhaust finisher here. You see where the tailpipes actually come to that point. So this is more decorative right here. Not really a bad thing, but in case you were wondering if this was part of the exhaust system. Well, now you know. And while we're back here, let's just take a quick look at the cargo area. And of course, there are multiple options for this. And we'll just lower both sections here. And of course, you can lower the seats. I'm not gonna lower everything down. I don't have everything set perfectly for doing that, but you can lower these seats to maximize the cargo space. There is more space underneath here if you need to use that. Couple of and as I close everything up here, I will give you the information. You have a 12.9 to 90.4 cubic feet of cargo capacity depending on how you set things up and what seats you lower down and all that good stuff in there. I know what I'm about to say doesn't apply to a lot of BMW owners, but being a gearhead myself, I like this feature. You pull on the hood latch twice in the interior and all you have to do is just walk up and open the hood. There's no hood latch or release or any kind of a stand you have to search for to put in place here that you need to worry about. I like the fact you can pull on that latch twice on the interior and just open the hood, it's already released. And here is the turbocharged V8. 456 horsepower, 479 pound-feet of torque. And with that kind of horsepower, you know, earlier I talked about this curtain right here, this air curtain that I pointed out earlier in the video that helps with gas mileage. What exactly is the gas mileage? 15 miles per gallon city, 21 estimated out on the highway. And with the horsepower that this model has, that's not too terribly bad. Of course, it's going to depend on what you actually do with the vehicle. And as you can see, after dark, one of the nice features here for gaining access to the interior, of course, the fact that the lights are right there, I know that just went out, but now it's back on again, so you can kind of see those since I opened the door. But I just want to give you a quick look here at the interior. Like I said, the back seat actually has a reasonable amount of room, and you can kind of see a little bit of the ambient lighting. Of course, these seats are all nice and comfortable. We'll get that out of the way real quick. Get this seat back in place. And like I said, with the technology here, you've got the screens here on the rear of the seats and quite a few different features and options that you can take a quick look at. I mentioned the fact that this is a three row, six passenger SUV. And if you're wondering about how passengers can get to that rear set of seats back there, well, you can use the lever right here and just kind of push up on the seat a little bit and it will automatically begin moving forward. You have to be kind of patient because as you can see, it's not necessarily very quick about moving forward, but it does get there eventually. And by 
the way, these two seats here in the middle are both power seats, and I will move that so you can see that all you do is push the seat back into its upright position, and the seat automatically begins going back again. Like I said, these are power seats here in the middle. The good news about that is that they can move back and forth, so it does give the rear seat passengers a reasonable amount of legroom, more than what you're going to see in most three-row SUVs. And just to give you a quick look at the door bins, the door panels here, what all is available there. And like I said, you do have the power seats here in the middle. And a quick look into the interior, just so you can see what's back here for your rear seat passengers. Of course, all of the adjustments for the air conditioning, as you can see, connectivity. And a couple of cup holders there. You also have armrests here that are built in, so those are adjustable, depending on what your rear seat or middle seat passengers, I should say, want to do. And just a better look here into the back seat area. Like I said, there is more room back here than I've seen in a lot of other models. Just something to consider. But obviously, the main point of interest, I would imagine, is what you're going to find in the front seat. Let's hop up there and find out. And as you can see, a larger door bin here on the front doors. This is just on the passenger side here. Of course, you're going to have seat memory, all that good stuff. And just a quick look here, of course, as you would expect, Power seats, driver and passenger. Just a quick look at the overall design of the interior here in the front. Very well done, obviously. And you do have, of course, the Bombay doors here, just like we see in the Mercedes Benz that we often look at here on the Vehicle Visionary YouTube channel. And a pretty deep console, about six, maybe seven, if you fold them just right, eight Vehicle Visionary t-shirts can fit down inside there. And a quick look at the driver's side door. Of course, you're gonna have a few more features and functionality here as opposed to what you would on the passenger side. Now look at the door sill, something we didn't look at on the other side. Of course, all the controls for your headlights, the fully adjustable steering wheel, it is power. So you're just gonna use this switch right here to adjust things and the steering wheel will move out of the way for the driver when they get ready to hop out of the vehicle. And of course, the dashboard right there, a little bit of a glare. We had to move out of the photo booth because somebody needed it. So now having to deal with outside a little bit. And yes, contrary to popular belief, did you know that BMWs do come with blinkers? So just so you know, in case you see those BMW drivers driving down the road who seem to not use their blinkers, that is, believe it or not, a standard feature, not only on the BMWs, but all vehicles. Use your blinkers. And something I am impressed with here, the size of the shifter paddles. Those are large, probably the largest I've seen in any vehicle. And just a quick look at the steering wheel mounted controls, of course, the rest of the steering wheel here and the infotainment screen a lot of information there a lot of functionality and features that you can go through with the vehicle quite a bit there i'm not going to take time to go through everything driving information is there as far as what you need trip data and all that good stuff pretty neat to see what all is there of course you're going to have five a zone that's right i said that correctly five zone climate control here are the controls for that, everything for the radio. I've noticed that people really like to have a knob in their vehicles. So that's one thing I've seen a lot of car makers go back to that maybe went away from that for a while. And just a quick look at what you have here hidden away under the cover if you want to conceal the drink holders and everything that is there. And here is the shifter and all the functionality around that. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Of course, you can go through a lot of information here with the dial as far as what you can get to on the screen. You can raise and lower the height of the vehicle right there. And here are your different driving modes. And let's just look at what happens on the screen when you change driving modes. We're going into sport right there and I'm just gonna click on each one so you can just see what happens on the screen. And there is an automatic where it basically chooses for you. And I don't know how well you can see it, but you also have a heads up display to help when driving down the road. I have definitely 
come to really like the heads up display, but I did find myself for the longest time out of habit, always looking down at the dashboard to see what my speed was and having to get used to actually using the heads up display. To learn more about the model in today's video, visit the link in the description for a detailed comparison between trims and pricing for the vehicle we featured or any other vehicle you are interested in. These pages feature information such as our recommended trim level based on price, value, and features. Thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. We look forward to seeing you next time.